In this video, we will learn about a very useful function, a selected value with the help of uh, variables. So for this, we have to add some data. So we need to click enter data. And uh, we can write the name of uh, column is products. And here we can write P1, P2, P1. Okay, so this is some data that we have entered here. So click load. So if you click here in the data pane, so here you can see we have uh, different products, and uh, we want that uh, we we want to count the number of uh, products. Like if we count P1, so this is one, two, and three. So then, so the requirement is this three should be repeated here for every like we we need to count the number of uh, products repeated products within within the column so we need to create one co uh, column here a new column and uh, we can use function like we can say okay like test one the name or we can write uh, count products and uh, we can use the function count. The name of the column is products. So here you can see we are getting everywhere 10 because uh, there is no filter context available here. So what we can do is we can write here calculate. So now the filter context is available and here you can see the P1 is 3, P2 is 3 and if you count here the P2 is 1 time, 2 time and 3 time. Okay. Um, so th this is the standard way that you already know this thing. So let's um, add one more column here. New column. So if we write here like um, count using selected value. So here, if we just write selected value, this is the function. And it returns the value when there is only one value in this specified column. So um, we just need to provide here. Um, the column is products. This one. So hit enter. So here you can see we are getting empty results here. So what is the purpose of a selected value? Selected value returns us a single value within the current filter context. So here you can see there is no filter context available, right? For the, for the product table, there is no filter context. And uh, we can check this thing just by adding the second parameter that is alternate results. So here we can write, for example, like no context. So here you can see we are getting a no context here. And uh, 
then we need to write one more column here count using variables so we have to write one variable var and uh, this is selected well and uh, we can use here the function selected value and the column name is products this one and uh, then we have to use uh, return okay um, return like selected value this is the name of the variable so here you can see we are getting nothing the the same like uh, in the uh, selected value that, that, that we have uh, just seen in the previous uh, column so if we use here like calculate and then we close it so here you can see now we are getting a calculate is converting the row into the filter context and that's why we are getting p1 p2 and so on and let's go to the uh, okay we just need to rename this because we are not counting here this is a just uh, we just uh, we are just checking what selected value do okay so in the count using variables so what we can do here we need to write one function here like count rows and uh, we need to provide here one table the table that we can use here is a filter and uh, we will provide here the column uh, the the name of the table will be products ah, okay the name of uh, the the table is, is not a product the name uh, name is table so we can just write here table and uh, then the filter expression will be it is um, we need to compare the products so products where products is equal to uh, the variable selected well this one and then we can just close it hit enter and uh, here you can see we are getting nothing because uh, this expression is not uh, returning us anything like if I say if I write here for example comma and uh, p1 as a alternative results so here you can see we are getting um, everywhere 3 right because now the, the context is p1 so it, it is replacing every value with p1 okay so instead of okay we can write here for okay we don't need any alternative result here because we don't need to display anything so here we have to use calculate so here you can see we are getting the same result as the count products everywhere with the help of variables so the uh, the important concept here is uh, here you can see we are getting everywhere the proper result so we are providing count row a filtered table so that's why it is calculating the proper result with the help of uh, the, uh, this variable because uh, this variable execute under the current filter context uh, so for example if we 
change this selected value to products, the same column here. So what do you expect? Which result we should get? Uh, let hit enter. And here you can see we are getting 10 rows everywhere. Why we are getting uh, this thing? So here you can see when this expression execute, it count, it compare one by one. So this is the table. And then we say, okay, where P1 is equal to P1, uh, then okay, then it is satisfied. We, we are getting one row here. Then P2 is equal to P2, P1 is equal to P1. So we are, we are having 10 rows in total. That's why the count rows get a table that contain 10 rows, right? So that's why we have to use one value under the current filter context. So when we, we write here um, the variable selected selected well, hit enter. So here we are providing for this row, we are providing here one value, which is P1. And then this whole table is getting like a, is just like a just like a loop and we have to find it it finds like how many times there are p1 and then it give us this result and then the, it goes for the second row p2 and then i mean this this variable of for this row the current filter context for the selected val variable will be P2. And then the P2 is being searched within the entire table and we are getting three values. P2, one time, two time, and three time. And when we give a table to count rows that contain only three rows, so it will display three. So this is how we can use variable with the selected value. So these are the tricks that uh, you can apply on your problem. So if you like this video, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.